today we're going to try round two. You remember the other video where I tried to do a, a roast in the oven? It didn't turn out right. So this time, round two, Crystal is going to do it, and she's going to do it her way. We'll see how that turns out. So her ingredients are going to consist of onion, baby carrots, little potatoes, baby Dutch potatoes, celery sticks, a one and a half pound roast. This time it's a chuck tender roast, Angus, and some various spices. These are just our drinks. That's water that's going to go in the bag. And she's going to try to use the Reynolds kitchen oven bag. And that should be interesting. We'll see what happens. We'll be back. And uh, to let everybody know, she did buy a packet of spice for this, but she can't find it. So, should be good. Should be. are tiny taters. <laughs> Crystal's being a little anxious here, but uh -huh. look how look how nice that looks in there. We got potatoes, celery, plastic, uh, carrots with the roast in there seasoned nicely. Next what she's gonna do is onion. Right? Yes. Okay, we'll be back. like looking in a vortex and seeing a delicious meal. We'll be back. She's going to add some water to it. Ready? 
That way the roast won't dry up, the vegetables won't dry up, and it'll be moist. I would put more than that in there. Yeah, just one more. Yeah, that's good, that's good, it's good, good. All right, we'll be back. Now the crystal has it nice and uh, tucked in. She's gonna do whatever, I don't know. To me, I think that's a waste, but yeah. whatever. You gotta let it bend on the top. Oh, you gotta let it bend, she says. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, you have to let it bend. So next, what we're gonna do is take this rose with all the fixings and put it in the oven. We're gonna get it ready. Here we go. All right, folks, she's in the oven. Final situation, or uh, situating it. Okay. She likes it. Okay. All right, shut the door, let's get this thing cooked. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and redo the thing here. We're gonna roast. Roast or? Bake Yeah, bake. We're gonna bake it. 350 or whatever. 375. Yeah. Yeah. Or what do you say about an hour? Start at an hour, yeah. yeah. And then we'll take it Okay, she's going. We'll keep you up to date. We'll be back. I mean, am I up to new ideas? Well yeah, if they're gonna be beneficial and if it's gonna be good. We'll see. I mean, she has this good idea with the bag. I know the bag works, but I didn't know if we could use it in there. But we're trying it, and that's what these videos are all about. So, we'll see. We'll let you know, but can't do nothing. I'm not going to stand here and watch it cook. Uh, right now, it's preheating at 375. Food's already in there. And then it'll say add food, and then I'll hit start it'll start the hour. Uh, all that's left to do is either watch TV or play Call of Duty. I'd, I'd rather play Call of Duty right now. We'll be back. Uh, I think I'm going to need a new power inverter. It just kicked out at 375. So I took it down to 350. Probably already 350 there because it already started counting down. So, wish us luck. I mean, it, this thing's fantastic. It's just my power burner is old, so I might need to get a new one. Nothing else is connected to it, just the, the gallons oven, that's it. So, all right, off to playing Call of Duty. We'll be back. All right, this is upsetting me now. Uh, that's the second time my power burner kicked off um, at 350. Well, first 375, then 350, now it's on. 350 again, but we're, we switched it to air fry instead of doing a roast or baking. So we're just going to relax and let it do its thing. But I definitely need to get into a burger. That's a Cobra. Cobra's junk anyway. So we'll be back. That was the third time it kicked off. Somebody forgot to turn the APU off. I got the truck running. So I think it was running off the APU alternator, which is not strong enough to run this truck is though. We'll see. I hope it works because I really want this to work. We'll be back. Alright guys, so like I said, the alternator on the APU is not strong enough for this unit and for the power inverter. So it's not my power inverter, that's good. Uh, it's the APU alternator. So you cannot run this thing uh, like an oven or air fryer using your APU. You have to have the truck running an APU off. Just a little FYI. Till then, we'll be back. We're gonna play some Call of Duty. Oh yeah. We'll be back. Now just like always, I'll let you know. Up here is warm, you know, it's nothing to really worry about the side kind of cool to touch. The top of the oven, yeah, that's hot. That's hot. That, that's really hot. Um, back though, let's see. Yeah, feels good. 
A little cooler to touch. It is cooking. It is actually cooking. We haven't had a problem since I discovered the APU was on and turned it off. Okay. So, turn the APU off. <clears throat> We're using the truck power. And it's, it's working real well. It smells good in here. It smells like dinner at home, you know? So, keep you in touch. Back to Call of Duty. All right, guys. So, according to the oven, dinner should be done. So we're gonna take it out of the oven. I'll show you what it looks like. It smells really good in here. I mean, really good. But look at it right there. So we're gonna take it out, check it out, and uh, we'll be back. If there was smell elevation, I would win a Pulitzer Award right now. I mean, Crystal would win. <laughs> the Nobel B Peace Prize, you know, get it, peace. Anyway, the rose shrunk dramatically, about half its size. So we're gonna open the bag, check it out. The potatoes feel soft. Oh yeah, the potatoes are done. Oh, yeah, they're done. All right, so we'll be back. So to Crystal, this is beef. This is Angus. That's too red for her. So we gotta put it back in. At least a good 30 minutes more. We'll be back. All right, so we got it back in there. We got we uh, cut it uh, in fours to evenly cut even more, or cook even more, I'm sorry. So we'll go ahead, go back on air fryer, go down to 375, hit okay, we'll start. Then you put it on your time. Yeah, it was on 350, that's right. So we'll, we'll put it on 375 for 30 minutes, 35 minutes, that way it'll get hot. There we go, we'll be back. All right, everybody, I know it's done. I can smell it. I, my stomach's telling me, hey, what the hell are you doing? Let's get busy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here. And uh, we'll see. We'll be right back. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. It looks like it's gonna be dinner. I'll be back. So there, there you have it, guys. <laughs> Pot roast. Potatoes, carrots, celery, and onion. Buttered bread. You can't ask for a better meal. And you cook on your own. You went to the store and got this stuff. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than what you'd be paying at a restaurant. And a lot better because you cooked it the way you wanted it. So, without further ado, thank you, Crystal. You're welcome. You saved the pot roast. <laughs> Not yet. I mean, we haven't eaten it yet. But... She saved it. Trust me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a bite. So I'll be back. I won't take a bite. I'll. I'll be back and then I'll hit record and take a bite. Hold on. Okay. So as you can see, it's a nice piece of meat. That is some reason. Focus on the meat. So that air fryer did really good. That bag. The bag did uh, the job. And uh, so I'm going to eat my dinner. Remember, keep it between the lines and drive safe. Till next time, this is Crowbar. She saved the roast. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good to have a, your own meal, you know? This is very good. So, we're not spending big money anymore. We get our own stuff to cook our own food. Yeah, this is good.
potatoes are good. I, I like the potatoes. Yeah. yeah. So, we suggest, or we recommend, that if you want to cook your own food, like we do, <coughs> go out and get yourself a gallon's microwave air fryer convection oven. It's worth it. It's worth it. You can cook your own food. Hopefully we'll lose weight. I don't know. There's no grease, no fat, no nothing with you. <laughs> I love that air fryer. Okay. I'm going to eat my dinner. Y'all have a good one. Keep it between the line and um, in between the lines and uh, on all 18. Drive safe. Y'all be good. See you next time.